uh, and you can see nothing slips by me every symbol everything that you see uh, has meaning but it goes it goes unnoticed by you uh, it's because you need to restore the spiritual high man that's inside of you. It's something that you lost when you lost your virginity. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. When you lost your virginity that first time, okay, they only sacrifice virgins for a reason because their blood is pure. When you lose your virginity, you lose your divinity. It doesn't mean that if you're, you can't have sex. What I'm saying is that that was then, this is now. And when you write your intent out on paper and you put your blood on it and then you publish that to the ether net, uh, somehow it changes everything about you. Uh, it just unfolds like it, it's like one cycle of the sun, one year, that's like one day. It's a it's second cycle. It's, it's 360 degrees, 720 degrees, 1080 degrees. This is how it's unfolding. And I'm not even at... 1080 days yet but you can see I'm decoding everything symbols are the language of the universe and the conduit that your energy is flowing through you have the Bible the two bulls the pair of ox it's one side of a light hole is a black hole you would be trapped on the division symbol right now and you don't think magic squares are real and I'm telling you that's because you're not at this type of level uh, with shit. I'm telling you the tr the plants and trees out there are conscious. Every time you eat your food, the plants, those living green plants and fruits are screaming bloody murder. Look it up. Plants are conscious. See it for yourself. And I'm telling you that when you place your bare feet on dry soil and drop a uh, drop of your blood into the earth and say, Great Spirit, give me guidance, that seven days later, okay, you'll start to notice different changes in your reality. Uh, if you want to speed things up, hold up a glass of water and program it before you drink it by saying it. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Give me the knowledge of the ages so I might bring forth heaven on earth. You're a bag of mostly water. That vibration is programmed into the water. It's programmed into you. And I'm telling you that your intent and everything about you unfolds uh, from from. You know, it, in the beginning there was the word. You need to say the words and bring that from your head into this reality. Then you need to write it down. Then you need to publish it. The more stuff you do like this, this is how you bring shit into reality. Okay? So the triple border here, the freak win C. You need to capture it with three seals. Um, and that's not something that people typically... Uh, hear about when they're making, uh, you know, I see videos out there how to make sigils and stuff like that, but you never hear about the triple border, you know, which the 3D, D is number four, the fourth letter, it's, it's that you're, you're literally needing to capture your intent by placing a triple border around it and mirroring it uh, in the two colors like I showed in, in, uh, in on the sigil a second ago. So, all right, so where we started off, how to communicate with God through number, we see that there's the odd and the even. That's because it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. You see it's the division symbol. Time going in one direction, time going the other direction. That means that when we get to the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish and we drink from the living waters, Time stops for us, and we don't age anymore, okay? So, does sigil magic and all this type of stuff work? I say that, look, people, if, you, if you're out to get money, then you need to make a sigil for someone else that's close to you to get money, not for you specifically, okay? Once they get the money, you explain to them what you did and ask them to make a sigil for you. Okay, exactly the way I'm showing you here. And the reason it's this way is because it's rubbed in your face. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. The two dots on your clock, it's the conscious and the subconscious. It's the biophotons of your mother and the biophotons of your father come together to trap you here on the gridiron. Every letter, every number is inside the sine wave. Okay, whether you see it or not, I'm telling you, 
that it's all in the sine wave. Every sing I've done videos on it showing you that every single number, every single letter is inside that sine wave. So let's see here. You have this as a good example. Here we go. All right, you see the number 8 right over there? See the 8? Now if you chop that in half and remove one portion of the bottom, then it becomes a 9, okay, or P. You see every single letter, every single number, you see the E, it's, everything is right over here inside the sine wave. You sign on the X, okay? You see that? They rub this in your face. Okay, inside the cube is where we're all at. Your, your soul, like the soul is the sun above your head. The sun is the sum of all the souls inside the matrix at any given point. That's what the sun is focusing down upon us is the collective consciousness of the whole. And it has its own divine spirit. It's, when I say goddess worship, okay, I'm telling you that you're not supposed to fight with your wife or your girlfriend. And you, you can never win, so just let them always win. And what I'm saying is that goddess worship is like uh, your mother-in-law, you make sure that, like, when I pick stuff off the ground in front of, I make sure I bend, I bow down to them. I, I, I mean, I lay it on thick because what I'm telling you is that these are, like, key things. I look into the sun, I speak my intent, I ground out with the grounding mats, or I put my bare feet on dry soil, and these are the types of things I do. I'm only two cycles into this Blood over intent. I spilt my blood over my intent on 12 24, 2013. I published a video and it'll be 1,080 days next Christmas. And what I'm telling you is that it started with looking at the sun and speaking my intent, which led to me getting the idea to write it down on paper, do it on video, and publish it to my channel. On, on, on the Ethernet and now here I am and I can see everything so clearly you know people make magic squares but you don't see them coloring it in the odd numbers and see what images show up in those squares that's totally double cross and you you what I'm saying to you is that you're on the checkerboard right now the magic square is showing you that what you need to do is get to the center of the dish before you're dead. All these symbols are showing you, you need to get to the center of the dish before you're dead. There's really no way to fuck this up, people. It's like the Holy Grail is right there. It's at the end of your compass. Okay? Now, the moon is a construct. The moon is see-through. And what I'm telling you is that the moon is just a rib of the earth which is sending down a square wave it's poisoning the well it's keeping half your brain shut off and you can't see what's hiding in plain sight uh, I'm gonna go deeper in the next video I just got too much to show you guys but look it up AEIOU center of the flat earth plane you will find the holy grail every compass is pointing to it this is the two ball cane one side of a light hole is a black hole and at the very center of the flat earth plane this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight the holy grail every compass is pointing to it there literally is no way to screw this up people at the very center of the flat earth plane we will find our exit out of the matrix